Hi and welcome to day 10 of the Inktober Tangles Challenge. I'm Anissa CZT from Croatia. Welcome to my channel and let's draw. Today's tangle is Finery by Zen Tangle. One of the tangles that I really love. It starts with either ribbons or, you know, just lines or maybe this kind of fescue shapes that I'm using right now. Anyway, you'll need a few of them which are placed more or less parallel to each other. You know already that I'm not a big lover of um, straight lines, so I'm going with these very organic curvy lines. And then after I do this, I will start adding some lines between them. And the way I will do it is by doing this take off and landing motion. So I take off next to one line and then land next to the other. And you can see that it's almost like a lazy S. So on the next, on the opposite side, I will try to do a mirroring image of it. So starting next to a line and then ending next to the one on the opposite side. You can see how it kind of flows. And I think I will extend one of these too. At least this one, because these others might not even be visible. Oops, I went too far away um, and landed on snack on this side. But that's fine and on the opposite side here I feel I feel drawn to do something but I'm not sure that it will be a good idea let's see well I've never done this before it's an <laughs> it's an interesting experience it's an interesting approach that I haven't tried before why not you know why not I think I can leave it like this. I'm just thinking about maybe ending this in, in another way, but I don't know what to do. Uh, so for now, I will leave it as it is and add an extension, you know, the border. Perhaps I should have um, added the border all along or all around the tile even before and now as I'm doing this I'm kind of wondering why I haven't glued unglued this tile because it would be easier to do it like that but you know now it is what it is so now I will add the embellishments so I'm adding a line that goes from the central part and then gets thinner as it moves away from the center and I'm ending it with some dots. Let's see a few more. This line is kind of following the shape of these sections of finery and I'm going to do the same here so first adding the line and then orbs and on the opposite side we will only see a tiny fraction of that right because it's disappearing behind the other tangles I think it's quite nice. I will use these bottom parts here to kind of pretend that I wanted to draw only these top fraction, fractions because I think that I need some more contrast in this section. There are many highlighted um, parts of tangles and I think that some um, drama and some solid black parts 
will look good just for for the change and I will do the same up here no ink in the spaces before I start shading and highlighting okay for the shading and highlighting I'm going to start with the shades right next to the stem where the thick part of my line you know the embellishment is and I'll also add some shade below this so I almost I almost made an oopsie but I stopped myself maybe I can add some just like this and to this part too so of course I will shade the border as well and I will shade this whole part that's leaning against or not leaning against that's disappearing below snack so adding shade right next to snack to kind of point out that the snack is placed on top of finery and then some shade right next to the stem where my thicker part thick black line is and of course the blending nesting the blending stamp in my hand and keeping it at a low at a low angle so that it doesn't scratch you know it's I don't hold it vertically I hold it almost horizontally so that it doesn't ruin the surface of the paper and right here I think I can use these shapes because they are not ending next to um, a stem to add some shade to enhance each of these like leaf shaped fragments of this finery then of course with the white highlight and here I will necessarily <laughs> mute some of my black lines, which I will fix later. So I'm adding highlight on the opposite part of each of these next to this stem of my binary tangle then I'm just retracing the lines those that I have colored white because I didn't want to do that and then I will try to be more mindful on this side hopefully not needing to do any corrections later Then I will take first my Jelly Roll 08 to add some white gel trace to the stems. I don't know what's going on here. It's still not dry, so I'm like trying to be careful about smudging it. It's, you know, for me always so difficult to wait until something dries. I always want to do everything the minute I think about it. I'm not good at waiting. I'm not patient at all. So it's always a battle <laughs> for me between what I know is good to do rationally and what I feel inclined to do. 
I did add the highlights I just want to maybe make some of these lines more dramatic so thicker bolder so this is why I'm doing this now and then I will of course take my jelly roll now it's jelly roll 10 just to add some shiniest highlights to some of these leaf shapes let's see and after doing that i might be done i think it looks nice you know it it looks like it's folded with this part sticking out and then the darker part seem to be receding towards the background um, which is always nice you know having these kinds of contrasts between certain sections of tangles I would like to end this by thanking you for drawing with me or just maybe watching me draw and invite you to join me tomorrow too. Bye!